places are richer in tradition, more steeped in nostalgia than this old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, the home of the Ohio State Buckeyes in the scarlet and gray have this place rocking already. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Penn State Nittany Lions, taking on a team recharged after a much needed bye week, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Buckeyes will kick it away to start us off. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Penn State Nittany Lions offense will take the first swing of the game. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. Looking for a crease, it's Singleton. It's that hole for four and gets it out to the 16. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe and don't give the fa He holds it in and nobody's close. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. Going up top on first down. He makes the connection. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. The Nittany Lions are moving quickly down the field. Off play action on first down. The short hands. It's Allen. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. The Nittany Lions come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. He makes the stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second in management. From the gun, running back gets the give. Defense there to stop him at the 20. Let's give him three yards on that carry. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. Got a man. It's crossed. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. That is so deflating on defense, too, because in your own red zone, third down, you need to make a stop. You know they're going to throw to the weapon at tight end, but it's one thing to draw it up on the blackboard. It's another thing to go execute and prevent that guy from catching the ball. He's so big. He's so athletic. You could have the perfect play call on, and he's still picking up the first makes a catch. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. He's got it. They make the tackle just outside the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. This defense needing this energy from the... And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Penn State! And that is exactly what you love to see as a head coach, watching your offense take the field, first drive of the game, and you're methodical. And you take what the defense gives you. You make good decisions. You don't have negative plays. You don't have missed assignments. That shows your head coach that you are locked in and ready to go. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. If you can do that, I don't know why you don't do it every time. Reduce the risk. Banged it out of the back of the end zone. They'll put it in play at the 25. So Ohio State's offense will get the ball for the first time. 
This matchup on the outside, Jesse, a big play weapon for the offense, a shutdown corner for the team. They say big time players make big plays in big games, so who gets the best of this matchup? That's going to determine the game. I mean, such a fun chess match. How much are they on each other during the game, the head to head matchup that everybody wants to see? Well, just nothing doing on that last run, and they knew coming into this one they were going to be challenged, right? This is one of the best defenses in all of college football. For them to have any shot, they're going to have to do a lot better running the football. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. And here comes the offense on second down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. He was not going to be denied, discarding tacklers, running behind his pads, and finally down at the 40. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Throws to the wideout. Fires a ball and now it's picked off. Got some room to run. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. That makes the score. And They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Pressure coming. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. You know, one of the things I hated as a quarterback was the blitzes from the inside linebackers because those guys end up in your hip pocket quickly. It's really hard to step into throws when you've got inside linebackers bringing the heat. Hand goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Penn State on top. They largely dominated this first quarter, as indicated by the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. The give to the tailback. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Yeah, I'm so impressed watching this guy run the football. And I'll tell you, I think Joe Paterno would have loved this guy in his offense, too. His team's always prided themselves on being able to run the football, right? Be more physical than the opponent. This guy has the ability to just wear defenses down. So hard to stop. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. With the catch, it's Saunders. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Here comes this home crowd as the defense 
Rice tries to get off the field on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. The Nittany Lions will call on their punt team. Snap to the up man, it's a fake. They tried to catch him napping on that fake, but turns out they were wide away. A first down for the offense. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Well, the drag routes put in this playbook to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. Swings it out to the flat. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting two touchdowns. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Dropping back, it's Sayin. Fires to the tight end. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They got a first and ten. The give from the gun. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. And the Buckeyes are in the hurry up. give to the running back from the shotgun and he fights his way forward gets away from one but not much doing on that one man nowhere to run on that play at all about all you can say is do better but that's the problem are they able to do better and that's why you keep trying things right keep trying to get on the perimeter run it up the middle try different things to see what you do well on third down going up top under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. Well, this guy's become a bit of a problem for opposing offenses. In their last game, he had two sacks, and he's dominating again, getting his first sack in this game now. He right now is wrecking people's game plans, and this offense better find out how to slow him down. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. This field goal attempt is going to be an even 50-yarder. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal, showing off that powerful leg. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Ohio is currently trailing in this one, but it feels like the tide may be turning. These Bobcats have picked themselves up before, and they're capable of it again today. They're trailing by just four to Toledo. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Running back searching for a hole. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. After picking up a couple at second and eight. The wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking to pass. It's Aller. Unloads to the right. Makes a connection. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Dumps it to the back. The quick out. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. To the ground with the back. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. I love this line.
linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill. He uses his speed to get to the... And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. They were unfazed by that earlier fourth down failure and will try for a second time in this one. Makes a grab enough for the first. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Quick strike complete. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. He'll just keep slinging it. Got it on the outside, it's cross. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. The Nittany Lions will try to put one on the board on first and goal. He makes the catch, but the officials right on top of it, signaling out of bounds. After getting nothing, it's second and goal from the six. Back to pass, it's Aller. Let's it go to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Penn State. No midseason doldrums for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. And the extra point makes it a 21-3 lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You got to get some points on the board. You got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. -on -two. Who can go up, catch the ball? Get us some yards and get us some points. Throws to the tight end. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? The Buckeyes send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the move, it's Evans. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. He's looking to throw it. Finds a soft spot in the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Looking to throw, it's Aller. Got his man down the middle. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Caught in the backfield. It's Allen. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's cross. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. And the Nittany Lions have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. 
And man, is that perfect timing. You can tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy and he knows he's open, but watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer, right in the bet bread basket. Nice play, nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point gives him a 28-3 lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone on a 36-yard touchdown pass. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in this quarterback and his decision-making because you cannot throw an interception at this part of the field with this little time left. And I think that's conversations you've had with a young fellow on the sideline. It'll be like, what are you comfortable with right here that we can run? Maybe stay aggressive, but make sure I... Fires into traffic. Intercepted. Taking it the other way. And he's going to run it all the way back. Touchdown, Penn State! Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense, on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And with time running out here in the first half, this offense will choose to take a knee. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And we have to start our report with acknowledging the play of that quarterback. There's a reason why he's part of the Heisman conversation and why scouts at the next level are so excited about this young man. He's the leader of that offense. He has presence there in that pocket. He has a cannon for an arm. What else do you want? That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Thanks for that halftime report, Kevin. The Nittany Lions will boot it away to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Got blown out in the first half and now just desperate to find anything to generate momentum here in the third quarter. It just starts with one play, though. You just need one thing to go right for this offense to start to build that momentum, and then that becomes infectious for the defense, for special teams. Everything can change. It just takes one play. It really can, and it's so strange, and you can't quantify it. I don't know how to describe it as a coach or as a player, but you got to make something happen, and it's got to start on this drive. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Back to pass. It's Saiyan. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The Buckeyes decide to punt it away. Makes a move. 
The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up his offense nicely. The Disney Lions going back to work on offense now. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's cross. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Nice job by the tight end making the catch and playing physical. You're a big body guy, man. Make him feel that. Nice job breaking an extra tackle, getting some extra yards for his team. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll throw it on first down. And the defense gets home. yippee ki -yay at the 35. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Fires and picked off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Really tough on offense. Third and long, it's tough to, you know you're passing the football. They know you're passing the football. I'm going to rush the passer. I'm going to drop back deep, make you throw the ball underneath. But, you know, quarterbacks also want to force that football and try to get that first down. He does there, and that's why he creates the turnover. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The run from the shotgun. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. This has got to be disappointing if you're the offense, guys. You were expecting to have a lot of success running the ball, especially against this defense, which has struggled so much this season, but just nothing doing. They have not been good enough in the trenches so far. To the air. It's Sayin. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Buckeyes! Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there. A difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Paul Muller. And the uh, Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. What can they pull out of the playbook here on second and long from the 17? Throws for the tight end. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Ran through the tackle, and he's got room to run. And he'll be run out of bounds, and these guys are piling up some serious yardage totals. The Nittany Lions will have it first and ten. They'll leave it with him. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. The Nittany Lions have this offense rolling. Off the play fake on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, give the defense credit because they're forcing this quarterback to throw into very small windows under duress. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. Dropping back. It's Aller. Fires to the big fella. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. 
I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for them. And they're going to try to convert on fourth down, one for two so far today. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes a catch past the sticks. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! And the pummeling has started. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys. But you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David. So this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. South Carolina has the lead right now, but this Williams-Brice crowd is restless. They just haven't been able to separate themselves yet today. They're up by just two over Vanderbilt. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. The give. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. See, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off of blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Back to throw. It's Sayin. He's got his man. And he gets the first down. But, man, did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. They'll go back to the ground. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. On second down, he'll let it fly. Wide open downfield. They're ripping off chunks of yard and take get it to the 33. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. Leaves it with the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And the three-yard line brings up. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Penn State on top. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. It's complete. Hit the afterburners, kid. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And the Buckeyes will snap it on first and ten. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll try the run. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. A third and long here. They can't pick up the first down without getting the touchdown. Wide out in motion. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Working that left side now. 
and they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Going for six. He makes the catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. The result of this game is going to sting for sure, but you've got to continue to build, you've got to improve, and you can take some positives out of this late hustle and build for next week. There's always positives, and coaches are always looking for those things that we did well. What did we do well so we can do more of it in the future? Finding some things here late that they did well. On to attempt the try. Splits those uprights right in half. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. Number 99, set to kick it off. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that ball, you spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Into a mass of giant bodies, we'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And the defense there goes zone coverage. Maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. The offense will stay on the field and go for it on fourth down. Two for three so far in this one. Fires to the right. And the pass is intercepted. Not much on that return, but I think... game but that is the type of play that as a coaching staff you can build on for next week's game and he'll run it into the end zone touchdown Buckeyes he has been surgical precision passing using the scaffold the fine instrument rather than the blunt one and the defense has had absolutely no answer for him. just He's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. The deficit is huge, this one is all, but over there, they'll keep trying to line up for the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Give to the running back. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. They say success rate can be picking up about four or so on first down, first and ten. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down and second and seven. They want that clock to run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run is coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. They'll immediately call timeout. 
They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And that pass picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. On first down, here comes this offense. The back goes in motion. Dropping back, it's Sayin. Swings it out to his running back. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. The Buckeyes want to pick up the tempo. On second down, he'll let it fly. Can't make the connection in the defense, putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Feeling some heat. And they got him for the sack. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got it, making Burt. Not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a sure thing, an easy conversion for this offense. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is. But And here's the third interception of the night. Didn't get a ton on the return, but they've got it inside the 20 at the 19-yard line. First down for this offense. Looking for space. It's Singleton. Finds a little bit of space. Gets three to the 22. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Ready to fire from the pistol. They'll keep it on the ground. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. To the ground to try to move the chains. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. The Nittany Lions come to the line with a new set of downs. Handoff to the lone back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They'll line up for a second down play. They go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that was a big-time stop defensively. Being physical, creating a negative play on that last run. Now you're setting up third down. This is the critical time. You've got to find a way to get off the field. You're trailing late in the game. Give it back to your offense to go see if they can score. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. He looks that one in nicely. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Nittany Lions will line up to punt it away. First one's on its way. The leg ought to be strong. Only called on twice in the victory last week. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. First snap of this drive will come from their own 17. Looking for a man. It's Sayin. He's taking a deep shot. And the pass falls to the ground, and the ball game is over really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game we did and certainly this was a huge win yeah and you started you circled it you were ready for this team this is this is the rivalry you put a lot of stock in all offseason you're talking about this game in particular you go out and get the dub it's a relief because you definitely wanted this team